Hello everyone, I am Amulya, Assistant Professor in Electrical and Electronics Department, Saividya Institute of Technology. In today's session, um, we are uh, conducting one experiment on synchro pair characteristics. This is one of the experiment in control system laboratory. So coming to the aim of the experiment, so here we need to conduct a synchro pair and we need to plot the graph for two cases. The first case is stator line voltage with respect to rotor position in degrees and the other one is the transmitter rotor position with respect to the receiver rotor position. So this is the aim of the experiment. So now let us see what actually synchro is. So synchro is basically it is a three phase star connected synchronous motor. It is also called as an electromagnetic transducer. So transducer it is basically converts the angular position of the shaft into electrical signals. So that means the angular position of the shaft that is the motor it will be rotated at 0 degree 30 degree up to 360 degree. So this rotation it can be converted into an electrical signal. It may be the voltage signal or it may be the current signal. So this synchronous motor it has a two parts one is the stationary part and other one is the rotating part. So usually for the rotating part we are going to give the three phase AC supply. So now coming to the circuit diagram. So this is the circuit diagram for synchro transmitter. See the first thing the synchro pair it will be acting as a synchro transmitter as well as the synchro receiver. So the first case here we need to plot the stator line voltage with respect to the rotor position in degrees. So this is the circuit diagram for the first case. So this is acting as the synchro transmitter circuit diagram also. So transmitter, synchro transmitter is basically it is an electromechanical unit. So in which the mechanical signal that is the input signal which will be fed to the rotor and that will going to convert into electrical signal on the stator side. Okay. So here this is the rotor of the synchro transmitter. Here we are going to give the uh, mechanical signal and that will be converted into electrical signal in the stationary part. So this is what we call it as a synchro transmitter. So here you can observe these are the uh, three phase winding which has been connected in a star form that is the stator S2 s1 and s3 so these are the voltage across each of the windings and this will be the rotatory part and this has been connected to the ac supply so now coming to the connection so let us see this is the experimental arrangement for conduction of synchro transmitter and receiver pair so now now for uh, the first case that is a synchro transmitter what we need to do means so we here basically we are giving a mechanical signal and that will be converted into electrical signal. Mechanical signal means it may be the angular signal. So here we are going to rotate the angles starting from 0 degree to up to 360 degree. So this angular position it will be converted into a voltage signal using this synchro transmitter and receiver kit. Okay. So this will be the transmitter part and this will be the receiver part. So now for the first case is synchro transmitter. So now So now I'll, uh, so now uh, firstly we are going to connect S1, so these are all the stationary part windings S1, S2, S3 and these two are the terminals for the measurement of voltage. So here we are giving the angular position that in terms of angle that will be converted into voltage signal and that will be displayed here. So now firstly I am going to connect S1, S1 to the voltmeter and the second connection I am going to connect S2 will be connected to the another end of the voltmeter. See if you make the connection like this one means so the state of winding the voltage across S1 and S2 this will be measured and it will be displayed in the voltmeter. Suppose if you want to measure the voltage across S1 to S3 means then we need to remove the connection and we need to connect it to the S3 terminal so that we can measure the voltages across the state of windings. So this is the rotatory part here we will be giving the angular position and that will be converted into electrical signal. So now we will uh, switch on the supply. We need to turn on only the transmitter part. Before that we need to keep the angle in 0 degree only. Switch on the transmitter part. Since we are connected or uh, across the voltage will be measured across S1 to S3. So before that observe this is the tabular column for synchro transmitter pair. So here we have uh, plot this uh, tabular column. The first is the rotor position. This is the angle starting from 0 to 360 degree or 330 degree and this is the voltage across 
Vs3 S1 that is voltage across the winding 3 to 1 similarly the voltage across 1 to 2 similarly the voltage across 2 to 3. So by keep on changing the rotor position we need to note down voltage across all these three terminals. So that is our first experiment that is our first case okay. So now I will keep the connection between 3 to 1 and the angle is 0 degree only. So here the angle is 0 degree and the voltage is measured across 3 to 1. So the voltage will be 2.5. So that we need to note down in our tabular column. So 2.5 is the voltage. Next similarly coming to the next connection that is 1, 2. So that means so 3 should be as it is sorry 1 should be as it is remove the connection and connect it across 2. So now the voltage will be 36.4. Next similarly the next connection is voltage across 2 to 3 so remove this connection and connect between 2 to 3 so this is the voltage so that is 39.0 so this is how we measure the voltage for angular position of 0 degree so next similarly for the second case we need to shift the angle to 30 degree so observe here so I am changing the angle now to 30 degree so look at the connection we are connected the voltage across the winding S2 and S3. So this is the voltage across S2 and S3 that is 43.6. Similarly, similarly the next is the voltage measurement across 3 to 1. So remove this connection connected to 1. So the voltage is 21.2. Twenty one point nine, and similarly, the next connection that is one to two, remove this and connect it between one to two. The voltage will be twenty one point five. So this is the voltage for the angular position thirty degree. So likewise, change the angle to thirty degree. Note down the voltage. Now it is in one to two. Note down the voltage. Similarly, remove this and connect it to S1 to S3 note down the voltage 37.0 then similarly remove this and connect it to S2 to S3 so likewise we need to keep on change the angle so from 60 to 90 degree it is likewise change the state of position then increase the angular position to 120 degree then 150 degree 180 210 so likewise we can increase the angular position meanwhile we need to note down the voltages between the various stator windings so this is the synchro transmitter and receiver so after plotting we are going to obtain this graph so this is the expected graph for synchro transmitter so synchro transmitter is basically so if you observe the tabular column so the rotor input for the rotor will be in the form of angular position so we are going to give the input as a angles and this angular position it will going to convert it into electrical signal so here we are converting the electrical signal as the voltage signal so this is what the synchro transmitter so next coming to the synchro transmitter and receiver pair so receiver is basically so here it will be acting as an just an opposite so here the input signal will be a mechanical signal sorry input signal will be an electrical signal that will be given to the stator winding and it will be converted into a mechanical signal in the rotor side so here we are going to give an electrical signal to the state of winding and that will be converted into a mechanical signal on the rotor side. So this is what the synchro receiver. So now in the next case we are going to do the combination of the synchro transmitter as well as the receiver. So this is the circuit diagram for the synchro transmitter and receiver pair. pair. So this is the state of winding for the transmitter and this is the state of winding for the receiver. So since we are doing a pairing of these two, so S2, this is the uh, state of winding of the transmitter. It has been connected to S2 dash of the receiver. Similarly, S1 of the transmitter is connected to S1 dash of the receiver. S3, the state of winding of the transmitter is connected to the state of winding of the receiver. S3 is connected to S3 dash and this is the rotor connection. R1, R2, 
R1 dash, R2 dash. So here we are going to give the AC signal. So now we'll make the connection for the synchro transmitter and receiver pair. So now this is the connection for synchro transmitter and receiver. So that is our second case. So what actually the second case is? So what all the data we are transmitting from the transmitter side, same it should be received even on the receiver side also. So the what type of data here we are transferring is the angular position. So that means if I change the angle on the transmitter or if I transmit the data here as a 10 degree means the same data should be received even on the receiver also. That means even here also it should be shifted to 10 degree. Similarly 30 degree means even here also the data should be received as 10 degree. So this is what the transmitter and receiver. So receiver is basically here it will going to convert the electrical signal sorry mechanical signal into electrical signal but this is it will going to convert the uh, electrical mechanical signal into electrical signals. So now observe the connection here. So as I already told you in the uh, circuit diagram so S1 should be connected to S1 dash so these are the stator windings for the transmitter and these are the stator windings for the receiver so S1 S1 dash S2 S2 dash S3 S3 dash so now S1 is connected to S1 dash of the receiver S2 of the transmitter is connected to S2 dash of the receiver similarly S3 is connected to S3 dash of the receiver so this is the connection for the second case so now we will switch on the supply, first switch on the power supply, then switch on the transmitter and also then switch on the receiver. But before that make sure that both the angles should be at 0 degree only. So this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. So both the supply we have turned on. So now look at the tabular column. So this is the tabular column for synchro transmitter and receiver pair. So as I told you what all the data we are transmitting on the transmitter same should be received even on the receiver also. So this is the possible uh, the degree change of the rotor position starting from 0 to 330 degrees. So 30 to 30, 30 difference we are going to change the rotor positions here. Okay same thing we are going to make it on the connection also. So here it is 0 degree even on the receiver also it is 0 degree. So now I am going to change the angle to 30 degree. So observe here even on the receiver also the angle received is 30 degree only. So now what we have to write in our tabular column means 0 degree on the transmitter and on the receiver also it is 0 degree. So 30 degree on the transmitter then on the receiver also it is 30 degree. So similarly now change the angle to 60 degree. So observe here even on the receiver also it has been received as 60 degree only. So this is what we call it as synchro transmitter and receiver. So what all the data we are transmitting on the transmitter same will be received even on the receiver also. So here it is 90 degree on the transmitter same it has been received even on the receiver also. So this received angle that we need to note down in our tabular column. So this is our second experiment. So this completes the transmitter and receiver pair. So after plotting this, so the transmitted data and also the receiving data both will be same. So that we are going to get one straight line that indicates that the transmitted data and the receiving. So both will be same. So in your tabular column we can write the rotor position will be 0 degree and this will be 30 degree and this will be 60 degree. So same same to same together it will be received. So now coming to the application of the synchro transmitter and receiver pair. So it plays a very important role in the operation of the navy system. Especially it will be found in every weapons as a communication system and also it will be used in underwater detection and also in the navigation system. So most of the time it will be find its application in the submarines, in the radar system. So these are all the application of the synchro transmitter and receiver pair. Thank you.